I'm standing right outside Mr. Madhusudan Mistry's office, and this is essentially which is going to be the election zone for the Congress presidential elections. Uh, the process will actually begin on 24th. That's when the nomination begins, carries on till the 30th. And if there's only one candidate, or even if there are more than one, that list will be out on 1st of October. There is going to be an election only if there's more than one candidate. Now, why this office becomes important from today onwards? Because you know, many like Manish Tiwari, Shashi Tharoor have been making the point that we really need to know who the electors are because the electors are going to decide who can file their nominations so there should be a transparency so in deference to this demand it has been decided that the electoral list is going to be here anyone who wants to file their nomination just has to go in and file their nomination but a couple of important and interesting developments which are coming up Rahul Gandhi till now remains reluctant though he came up with a very cryptic Facebook post which seemed to be suggesting and in translation essentially meant when there is a little bit of a crisis someone has to take charge was he referring to himself or was he actually referencing re, uh, 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 making a reference to say an Ashok Gehlot who also has been little reluctant he has been insisting on the fact and Rajasthan in fact was one of the first states to pass a resolution that Rahul Gandhi should become the Congress president now if Gehlot does become the Congress president then what happens about Sachin Pilot and who becomes the CM of Rajasthan that's another game which is going to be focusing on Shashi Tharoor we know for example met uh, Mrs Sonia Gandhi and the word which comes out of it he's very keen to contest and what Mrs Gandhi conveyed to him was she's not going to play any role anyone who wants to contest contest there's going to be no official Congress candidate anyone is allowed to file the nomination paper publicly ideally and it's going to be an open transparent contest and no top leader is going to be uh, campaigning for anyone or backing anyone but interestingly in the first Congress presidential polls post in 1990s there's actually a provision for campaigning so you know it'll be interesting to see when Congress leaders will come around inside the ICC go to a state level to their respective states and beyond to campaign uh, for the top Congress presidential post also what I'm picking up is the names like Bhupendra Hudda uh, names like Anand Sharma possibly Manish Tiwari all of them may also throw their hat into a ring they are members of G23 they are the ones who have been critical of the fact that there's been no elections to the organization post but now they may want to prove a point that you know if we've raised a point we also must take the risk unlikely that they may win because that's also one narrative but at least you prove a, po prove a point that you're taking part in the presidential process was of course going to be the ultimate question of them all is that if a non Gandhi becomes a Congress president will the remote control be in the hand of the Gandhis interesting take by Mr. Chidambaram when he said even if Rahul Gandhi is not the Congress president he's still going to remain our leader is that a giveaway those are those challenges which the Congress party is going to be facing